What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. James here from Shocker Racing Garage and today I am coming at you from my dad's garage once again. Uh, as we are still waiting on our Bronco, starting our video series showing off some how to's for the new Ford Bronco. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna show you, for those of you that do have the keyless entry pad that came as an option on the new Ford Bronco, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to add your own personal code to the vehicle. I'm gonna show you how to program it to something that's easier to remember and not some random five digit code that Ford gives you from the factory. So if you have the keyless entry keypad here, you, your vehicle came with a card that looks like this. Now I'm not gonna show you the backside because that does have my vehicle specific entry code that you're gonna need in order to reprogram this or actually that was where I was mistaken in thinking that I was reprogramming and basically erasing the factory code and changing it to my own personal code. Uh, what I did figure out is that that vehicle specific code that comes from the factory is not going to change. That's going to stay in the system. What you are doing is you are just adding your own personal code to the vehicle. So it looks like it's gonna allow you to add up to two of your own personal codes. So if say you or your spouse wanna have an own unique code that maybe is easier for each of you to remember, or like in my case, since I've been stealing my dad's Bronco while I still wait for mine to be built, um, I could program a, a code in here that is better for my dad. And I could program one that's easier for me to remember when I wanna come steal the Bronco from my dad. So. It's a pretty simple process, but again, you're just adding additional codes in. So let me show you the process here. Now, you're gonna wanna make sure you've got that card with you that has the vehicle specific code that came from Ford. Um, you wanna have that handy. In order to program this to your new code, you're gonna need that five digit number. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in that number. And once you've typed in that number, you're gonna press the one, two button until you see this kind of do a flicker thing so that it is ready to program your new code. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you what my vehicle specific code is, but I'm gonna type that in, then we'll press the one, two button and get this thing programmed. For now, to show for the video, I'm gonna program my code to be one, two, three, four, five, and uh, let me show you how this works. So you saw it flicker there. Okay, you can hear it's doing all sorts of things once it took the new programming for the one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now the way that you lock the doors anytime you wanna lock them is you just press and hold the seven, eight, and the nine, zero, and that will lock them. Okay, so the doors have locked. I know I heard them lock. Now I can go ahead and test out my new code, which is one, two, three, four, five. And you can hear that the doors unlocked and now I have programmed user number one. Um, essentially, if you wanted to add a secondary user code, you would do the same thing, but you would press the three, four instead of the one, two, and then you could type in your second code. All right, so that's it. That's how quick and simple and easy it is to add your own vehicle specific code or user specific code to your new Bronco. So obviously I'm not gonna leave it as one, two, three, four, five, so you can all come steal my stuff out of my Bronco. I'm gonna go ahead and change it over to my own unique code right now and uh, make sure it's ready to go for me for the future. But if uh, this video has helped you out, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because I do have a lot more content coming for the Bronco. And if you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments below. I'm always glad to answer any questions. I do try to keep up with everybody on our channel. So make sure you do that and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.